What's going on guys, it's Sebastian back here with another video. Today's gonna be a quick one. We're just gonna do five things I hate and five things I love about my 2018 F80 M3. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy the content and uh, follow me on Instagram. Let's get right into the video. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first five things that I don't like about my 2018 F80 M3. So starting off with the first thing, and I feel like a lot of other F80 owners could agree with me, is the brake dust. I cannot stand the brake dust on this car. In the back, I have Aki Bono brake pads. In the front, I have the OEM ones that come from BMW. Uh, the front, both uh, rotors and pads need to be serviced first. So I went with BMW OEM. The rears needed to be done second, um, and then I got Aki Bono on those. Those have no brake dust, but the front, I washed the car two days ago. I could swipe my finger and look at my finger. Oh my God, that thing is disgusting. But yeah, they're just such a pain in the butt to clean. They look good, but the brake dust is just so horrible. You can clean them, you can deep clean them, you can detail them, you can do everything you want to them within a day or two. They're gonna be full of brake dust, just like they were when you first washed the car. As for the rear, I could come back here, two days ago, wipe my finger, barely any brake dust. And don't get me wrong, I know a lot of the, you know, the force goes on the front brake pads because the car is kind of braking forward. Um, don't get me wrong, I do understand that, but still, the brake dust is just another really big issue for me. I mean, look at my finger, I've been trying to wipe it off and it's not even coming off. But yeah, so the brake dust was first. The second thing that I don't like about my 2018 F80 M3 is how it is a competition package, but it did not come with the executive package. So for instance, I do not have heads up display. Um, you know, just like the little things, I don't have the cameras on the side where it kind of gives me a 360 view when I'm parking uh, kind of up top so I can see where I am around uh, it doesn't have like the little shades in the back where I can pull up and down and for the uh, rear window um, I don't have a heated steering wheel um, so it's just all those little things uh, and all those little extra goodies that you know I'm kind of missing out on but this car was actually special delivered from the first owner uh, from Beverly Hills BMW. He ordered it to exactly how he wanted it. He wanted it in the black, the competition package, uh, but he opted out for the executive package. But don't get me wrong, I still love the car. It's still so nice, um, and yeah. Moving on to the interior of the car, the third thing that I did not like, it did not come with Apple CarPlay. I had to buy the Apple CarPlay off of this guy I found on Instagram. Uh, he sent me like this file, this coding file. I put it onto a little hard drive, plugged it into the USB reader in my middle console, and then it did something and it like coded Apple CarPlay into my car. Also, I forgot to mention, I had to take off this piece. I had to unscrew some bolts and take off this whole piece and put in like a little Wi-Fi connector in here um, so my phone can actually connect. It was weird. The CarPlay was on here, but it just wouldn't connect. Once I plugged in this little thing that, I don't know, he sent it to me. He's like, you're going to have to buy this and plug it in. Um, I just looked it up on YouTube how to do it. Plugged it in and then uh, the CarPlay worked. But the only thing about it is that it's not full screen. Um, a lot of people will have the full screen CarPlay. I really wanted the full screen, but I mean, hey. I noticed that, you know, I don't really use the CarPlay that much. Uh, I just listen to music. Oh my God. I use the CarPlay, I use it for maps and whatnot, but I mean, it being, you know, 65% of the screen doesn't really bother me anymore. I kind of got over it. Still looks good. I'm just happy that I have CarPlay um, and it makes it everything a lot more easier. The fourth thing that I don't like about my car is, um, is you know, the gas. It is not too good on gas. I do daily the car, so um, you know I'm getting 15 miles to the tank or 15 miles to the gallon. If we look here, uh, yeah, I'm getting 15.3 miles to the gallon. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty horrible. If I'm you know flooring it or driving around a lot, I'll be filling up probably every two to three days. Um, it's really, really bad, especially with the prices out here in California. Uh, I just filled up today, probably around, I would say, 6 o'clock. It's probably 10 o'clock now, 
and I drove probably for about 30 minutes and I'm already there. Um, I do drive a lot with the car in Sport and Sport Plus, um, so that also is a big issue. But um, yeah, man, the gas on this thing is just ridiculous and I'm always spending so much money on gas. And lastly, the fifth thing that I don't like about my F80, I know this isn't really a cosmetic thing or anything like that, but it is just the cost for maintenance. Um, you know, this car, just like any other car, has its issues, but since it's a BMW, um, you know, maintenance, uh, stuff like that, if something happens to the car, it is just so expensive. Um, you know, oil changes, around 200 bucks, 100 to 200 bucks. Um, you know, brakes and rotors, uh, for these cars, I think I paid $1,500 for the front and then $1,500 for the back, I believe. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to double check that. But, um, you know, also the crane cub issue. Um, I'm looking to get my crane cub done before I downpipe and tune the car. Um, and then I also had a valve cover leak. If some of you guys don't know what that is, um, the valve cover is kind of... It's somewhere in the engine in there, um, and it, it was releasing air because the valve cover gasket was uh, letting air out. Uh, so every time the car would come to an idle, you would hear this really loud, annoying whistle. And literally, I didn't know what it was. Uh, I was scanning my car, doing all this stuff. I finally looked it up on the internet, uh, went on the forums, and then I figured out that it was the valve cover gasket. Once I heard the price, I was like, oh my god. A lot of other places were quoting me, I think $2,500. Uh, the dealership was caught charging me some crazy amount. I didn't even bring them into the equation at all. But then I had a friend of mine or a really good, well-known mechanic uh, not too far from my house. Uh, he does all of you know my parents' cars and my family's cars. He told me he could do it for me for, I think, 700 Did it for me in about a couple hours. Got the car right back to me, and the issue was gone, and I was super grateful for that. But yeah, just the maintenance on these things. Um, it does get costly over some time. If you're going to buy one of these cars, make sure to put some money aside all the time for, you know, the things it's going to need, the oil changes, the, you know, tires, um, you know, to wash the car, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, I love the car. I wouldn't do anything else. Now to the five things that I love about this car. This is going to be really easy. I mean, finding some things that I don't like is pretty hard because um, in my eyes, this car is just so perfect to me. Man, those dogs are going crazy. But uh, yeah, the first thing that I do love about this car was the, you know, LCI package that came with the 2018s. Um, man, I love these headlights. These headlights just make the car look so aggressive as, uh, as well as the taillights. The taillights came with the, you know, new LCI as well, but uh, I changed them out for the GTS. Um, but also just the competition package, the wheels, the wheels are so nice. I love the 666M wheels. Um, I like them better than any other wheel. Uh, but don't get me wrong, the CS wheels are also really nice too. Um, but for now, these are really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's the first thing that I really love about this car is the headlights. Um, that was like a thing that I needed. I wasn't going to get the car without the headlights. I looked everywhere. Everyone was saying 2018, um, but it didn't have the new updated LCI. The second thing that I love about my F80 is, man, these hips. Look at how wide the back fenders are. It just looks so good. I do need to put some spaces on the back just so the tires flush. Um, I am going to be doing that very, very soon. But, man, the back of this car is just insane. I love the way the fenders stick out. It gives it such a nice touch. It makes it look different from, you know, just a regular 330 or anything like that. But, man... The F80 M3, these hips are insane. The M4 doesn't have it. The M5 doesn't have it. The M2 doesn't have it. Um, the M3 is the only, you know, car that has it. And it gives it that extra touch that, man, I don't know what it is. just looks so good. <laughs> I know it might, I might sound a little weird about it, but, man, it just looks really, really good. The third thing that I like about the car is, um, obviously, the color. As I said before, I wasn't going to go with any other color but black. I mean, unless it was a crazy individual color, I might have considered it, but I needed the black exterior as well as I really, really wanted the black interior, and I needed the competition package. Competition package was a must. Um, man, just look at those seats light up. It just looks so good. It's a perfect daily, and on top of that, it's sporty, and, you know, it's, it's practical. When I pick up my friends, they can get in the back. When I go on a trip like I did to Big Bear, I could put all my stuff in the back. Um, 
you know, with an M4 or an M2, you know, you got to bring the seat up, let a friend get out, put a seat, put the seat up, let a friend get in. Um, they don't have their own back window, nothing like that. But uh, yeah, really wanted, um, you know, the seats, the competition package, the black with the black interior. And man, it just looks so good. The fourth thing I love about this car is the way it handles. Um, I started going to the canyons a lot when I had this car. I would go like every day after work, spending tons of money on gas almost every day. Just the bottom filling up, going up to the canyon. But man, the way this car fills in the canyon is really, really nice. Uh, the way it hugs the corners, the way it feels planted. Um, you know, it was a, it's a perfect car for that kind of stuff. Um, I know a lot of people will track them out, make it a track car, because I know these cars are really good on the track as well. But man, in the canyon, every time I'd go up, I'd get a little bit better, a little bit faster. Uh, started timing myself and doing things like that. But um, yeah, just going up to Angela's Crest all the time, the car felt really, really nice. And man, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Another thing I love about the car, um, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this, is the way it sounds. Um, I feel like with the exhaust that I put on stock, obviously the car doesn't sound good. We can all admit the car sounds a little raspy. Um, just doesn't sound as aggressive or as mean as a lot of other cars can off, you know, the lot. Uh, with the competition package, when you do put in Sport Plus, it did sound a little bit better. But with this exhaust, the equal length mid-pipe and the cat-back exhaust from West Coast Heroes, man, this car sounds like a beast. Um, I can make the car sound super quiet and efficient and then in Sport and Sport Plus, man, it opens up, sounds good, sounds deep, and it sounds really aggressive. Um, and I have stock downpipes, so it still sounds really good. And a lot of my friends tell me, hey man, how does your car sound so good with stock downpipes? And I'm like, dude, I have no idea. But this exhaust from West Coast Heroes made all the difference. I appreciate my guys down there. I'll link um, West Coast Heroes down below. If you guys want to check out this exhaust and also in previous clips, I have some clips of, you know, the way the exhaust sounds. Um, in the future, I will go down pipe and tune. Obviously, I've said that a lot. Um, and then maybe, you know, far along in the future, I might single turbo the car. We'll see uh, what the future holds and we'll go from there. But yeah, I do like the exhaust sound now with the new exhaust and it just sounds insane. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I know it was a short one, so I am going to add a car meet that my cousin Tristan and I went to into this vlog. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, those are the five things that I hate and the five things that I love about my 2018 F80 M3. It is a competition package. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Follow Tristan. I will put his Instagram in the description below. Um, and I'll also link a lot of the parts that I have on the F80 now in the description down below as well. What's going on guys? We're up here at Big Turnout. It is freezing. Taking videos of the whips. Trying to get down before it gets too snowy or too icy. But man, it is like a different world up here. There's so much snow. And this is just the first day. We still got like two more days of snow left with the Cuzzo. Yeah, dude, it is freaking cold. Oh my God. Let's get it. So, change of plans. We didn't have anything else to do today. We came to a California Cars Me at Sepulveda, the 76 on Sepulveda again. Um, I don't know why car meets always seem to end up here. But um, yeah, it's pouring rain. There's a really bad crash on the 405 right now. A car was under an 18 wheeler, but uh, we're gonna go check out some cars, see what we see and uh, go from there. The gas station's slowly filling up. Let's go check out some cars. This G80 is fire. I love the paint. It's X Drive as well. You need X Drive in rainy weather like this. Wainy. In rainy weather like this. But yeah, that huge crash on the freeway. There's so much traffic. There's a lot of people here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep looking at some cars. But I really like this. I just would have to get it with buckets. It has no buckets. Um, another G82. No buckets, but clean red interior. It also is X Drive. Super nice. Very nice. Clean G80. I think it's the one we've seen at the last meet. This thing's fire. X Drive too. Everyone's got X Drive. And the M4 drop top is also X Drive. Shit's fire. We've got a couple of cool cars here. You can tell not a lot of the nice cars came out. A couple of G80s, a couple of M's, but most of the, you know, the little beaters come out because a lot of people don't want to bring their nice cars out, but still, it's getting pretty packed here. We're going to be heading out soon. Nice Yas Marina Blue F80. 
Got the OLEDs, the 437 Emeralds. I like these, but I don't know. They're already shutting us down. Oh no, it's just the paramedics. But yeah, I don't know about this wing. I like this wing on other colors, but I just don't know if it'd look good on my car or not. Damn. Shit, I'm the cops. Uh-oh, he pulled up. Oh no, he's just leaving though. What the fuck? That's funny. He's gonna go camp out first. Yeah, second. he's gonna try to find someone that he can get, you know? Oh, there's another one over there in the dark. You Ooh, see him? I do see him. They're planning, bro. They're plotting. <laughs> Everyone here just unfazed, just chilling. Got a nice Z06. Shit's fire. I like these. I mean, Tristan said he wanted one. I don't know if he's gonna get one, but uh. Wow, pink accord and a fire Hellcat. I like this color. It's like a fire red. It comes up red in the camera, but it's like an orange red. I like it a lot. Here we go. They just pulled up. Alright, guys, just go ahead and move your car. You can't block. This G82 is fire. It's like a pearlescent white matte paint. Super nice. But yeah, this meat's kind of a bust. There's a nice G80. It's pouring rain, and I don't want to fuck up my camera, so uh, probably not gonna record anymore. Nice M8. The apexes on this are nice. I think it's the guy I met at Angeles Crest. Um, I see him all the time up there. His car's fast, and it sounds super good. Uh, we just got here like two minutes ago and now we're ready back in the car. It is pouring rain. My jacket is soaked. It's all the same cars from the last location um, and honestly a, a lot less cars. Um, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain until like I think like 12. It's only 10 but it kept raining so we're gonna head back towards our house and then uh, we'll go from there. I think we're gonna take some pictures in Pasadena, kind of make something out of this night and uh, just not leave it a bus, but uh, I'll pick the camera back up when we get there, and then we'll see what we get into. Tristan and I pulled up to this parking structure uh, in Pasadena. I took some pictures and videos of our cars, or you know, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. But the cars, they look good with a little rain on them and stuff like that. I like rainy weather, but um, you know, just not for driving these cars. It's so scary. You could feel the back of my car whenever I'm driving on the freeway it just feels like it wants to just fishtail it's super scary um, but you know free car wash i was in big bear so my car was filthy dirty uh the rims are still super dirty but um yeah we're gonna take some pictures some videos see how they turn out maybe post a couple of them in the vlog just to show you guys uh, yeah 